And we're back with some more RimWorld, following the Wicks on their nomadic voyages across this godforsaken land. Uh, hopefully they survive long enough to get to Rimton. Rimton? We're trying to get to Rimton so that in the hope that they have uh, more weapons. Ooh, weapons and armor. Oh, we'll trade with these people. Hopefully they have weapons and armor. That would be nice. Uh, quick check and... Yeah, nothing. They happen to have a cloth duster and a light leather duster, and it is getting colder, so I'm going to buy both of those for 566 silver. We'll add those, and then we can move on. Then we'll go straight into gear here, and we can start equipping them. Uh, let's see, where are you? Light leather duster, you can go on this person, and cloth duster, you can go on... Oh, wait, no, you already have a cloth duster. Who's missing one? Oh, there you go, you've got a park on. You can have a cloth duster for everyone. Then we shall continue on our way to Rimton. Bandit Camp Quest. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Effectively, we go take out a, a site that's got three enemies on it. We'll get 2,400. It will send us a reward worth 2,400, which is two orbital bombardment targeters. Uh, hmm. That seems interesting. And, yeah, that, that's not too far away. I think that is something we would be very interested in taking part in. But first, let's uh, go to Rimton, and let's see what let's see what Rimton has in store for us in terms of trading. Only thing I'm really interested in here is weapons and armor. We've got a sniper rifle, a charge rifle, ooh, charge rifle masterwork. That's good. Ooh, that's way too expensive for us. Uh, armor wise, what have we got going on? Flak vest, seven flak vests. Oh yes. First up, we're going to want six of those. Yeah, we're going to need six flak vests. That's just yeah. There's there's no way around that. Um. What else have we got in here? One moment. They have marine helmets. Um, yes, please. I'll take two of those. Uh, so flak vests and marine helmets. Oh, wait, we have to go get our hands on some weapons as well. We're definitely going to want the sniper rifle and the charge rifle. Um, I would love the second charge rifle, the masterwork one, but that is far too expensive for us. Time to see how much money we can get by selling off all the junk we brought with us. After selling all the cloth and furs we brought with us, We've got, uh, ooh, we're minus 104. All the cloth, furs, uh, some of the ambrosia, all that stuff. And we've got quite a decent haul of stuff coming in. Uh, is that, oh, is that my gold? That is my gold. Yeah, I can sell off the gold as well. And now we're in the green and we can afford to buy some more stuff. So maybe some simple steel helmets just to make sure that our, uh, our pawns survive their next few encounters. What I'm trying to do here is minimize my wealth and maximize the potential survival of my pawns by giving them the best weaponry and armor they can possibly hold. At the same time, I'm looking to get them some uh, some things to improve their mood. Uh, marble billiards table is not so good. Those things weigh about, mm, was it 300 kilos? Yeah, I'm not taking those with me. If they had a telescope or something portable, that would be very nice. Uh, a chessboard would be lovely. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have any of those, so we're stuck just buying weapons and armor for now. Oh, they have a few coats we can buy. Devil Strand dusters? Hmm. They also have a shield belt right here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take the shield belt. Someone's going to be running around as a... Yeah, someone will end up eventually running around as a bait. So we might as well grab that while we're here. These hyperweave pants are too good to turn down. They provide equivalent protection roughly to flak pants. Maybe a little bit better uh, if their level for level is the same. But they weigh an awful lot less. So we're going to take a pair of those with us. Uh, the Devil Strand Duster is very good as well. We'll take that with us. Yeah, that is an awful lot of stuff we've purchased and an awful lot of good stuff that we're going to be able to use to hopefully keep our pawns eh, very healthy. Now, if we go immediately into gear here, we can start equipping everyone with what they need. After much faffing about on my part, there is the finished products. Uh, the marine helmets are going on Rambo and Stark. Everyone's got a flak vest. Everyone's got mostly a devil strand. Oh, you know what? We'll put those on there. I should really purchase everyone some long sleeve t-shirts to go with those flak pants and uh, the hyperweave pants. That might be an idea, but at the time, at the moment, I can uh, sell some of this junk off. I don't need it anymore. Also managed to pick up a few t-shirts here. We'll take those. Uh, yeah, that's going to eat into our funds some more, but hey, what can you do? Now everyone is very, well, not amazingly well equipped, but quite well equipped. We've got a sniper rifle, a plasma rifle, a bunch of submachine guns or machine pistols. We're ready to take on, do some damage. And the first thing we want to go in is go over here and grab this outpost. What does it have? Two orbit, orbital bombardment targeters? I think we can, I think we can go take some time out of our busy schedule to go uh, have a few words with them. No, oh, when you're traveling here, animal disease, flu, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's make sure we've got those set up for, uh, for healing. Right here, I'm just making sure that they're all set to use uh, herbal medicine. I don't want them using any of the good stuff. 
Yeah, that should be fine. Even if I lose uh, a couple of animals, it's not the end of the world. I've got plenty of excess capacity at the moment. Uh, Stark has gotten food poisoning from pemmican cause incompetent cook. Okay, so maybe my cook wasn't the best in the world. Stark will be fine. They'll walk it off. Uh, generating map for new encounter. Okay, so this is one of those little encounter maps. Ooh, and we're in a tropical forest. So what we've got here is three people. They're all armed with bows. Woo. All bows of varying ranges, it seems. Let's see. There. There. And there. I think we'll just set up out here in the trees somewhere and we'll let the sniper rifle do the talking. In the meantime, what you're going to have to do, and it normally happens if you're traveling around with a large amount of pack animals, you're going to have to make an area and tell all your animals to stay in there so that they don't get in the way of you at work. So all the animals, all of you can hang around in there. The rest of you, let's go up and have a few words with the uh, with our opponents. Oh, it's still in the town a bit. Everyone's lined up in firing squad range. All we got to do is get someone's attention. I think Anita can manage that. Oof. Yeah, that guy's not doing too good. Let's check out his bio while we got a chance. Slowpoke. Nope. But yeah, he can just go. We'll let him go. Next up. Wait, did we? What did we do to him? Gunshot, sniper rifle. Wow, Anita, you are a beast with that thing. What's her bio? 12 shooting skill? Yeah, that, that would explain why she's uh, that good at... Okay, that's everyone done. And over here, we've got a couple of orbital bombardment targeters. You know what? Let's take those to the bank. Uh, also, we can see what's left inside this hut. When you enter, enter these areas, you can claim them. So what we're going to do here, actually, is just claim the whole lot of it. Go to orders, grab the claim. Boom. Now this is all ours. Let's send some people in for a scout. Anita, you can go in there. Don't, mm, everyone's morale is quite a bit low at the moment. You know what? Let's uh, let's allow everything for the time being. We're going to want to collect up everything before we leave. Also, is there some alpacas here? Hmm. No, we're not going to hang around. This is just a, a quick in and out and we're out of here. Inside here, all we have is some sleeping spots, which is... Yeah, that's not really going to do as much good. What have we got in here? Uh, some pemmican. Yes, we're going to allow everyone to access that. Time to get the flock out of here. Now, is everyone dead? I want to make sure they're all done. Yeah, they're all finished. So let's just go. All we have to do is go out here and then we just go on. Once we're on the world map, we can just hit this and we hit reform caravan. It'll give you the option to pull things together. For example, that wounded guy, we can take him with us if we want. So we can even have a look at his bio from here. This is very handy if you injure a lot of people in one of these missions and you want to get them all up really quickly. Once you which, uh, whisk them back into the caravan, it, they all start getting healed instantly. They do have some things I like about them, but on the downside, they've lost a leg. I suppose I could replace it with a wooden stump, but you know what? I don't really want them. So let's get out of here. Oh, just make sure to go in here and we want to make sure we claim our prizes. You want to take the pemmican with us and we also want to grab, where is it? Yes, these two boyos, the orbital bombardment targeters. Let's take those with us. Those are quite useful. We'll also take, oh, see these T things here? That means they're tainted. We do not want those. Something's got a T beside it. It was effectively warned by a dead person. That means it's useless to sell. You won't be able to sell it anywhere. Now that the caravan is reformed, let's go over here and have a word with these pirates. Uh, they don't seem like they're too friendly, so... Oh, quest complete. Yeah, that's all done. I would like to have some words with them about their accommodation. It seems like they have nice accommodation, but I would like their accommodation to be... Ooh, major break risk? What's going on? Who's got a major break risk? Turns out everyone was a bit tired and they're a little bit recreationally deprived at the moment. Uh, the reason being, well, we're on the road and the only thing I've got to give them for recreation is whatever they're carrying on them and it's not that good. So I think before this gets any worse, we're going to go and have a quick word with these uh, these pirates in here. It should only be a quick, quiet word. We, we, we don't really want to do anything too crazy with them. And we are going to say hello to them in the middle of the night. Because that's what you do when you want to talk to pirates. You do it at night, because that's the best time to do it. And uh, now, let's see what they've got over here. Hmm. We have... How many? We have eight? There might be more than nine. Actually, there might be a bit more. I could have seen nine and now there's only eight. Never mind. So they have not eight at least of them, maybe more inside the buildings. And they do have some turrets, do they? I don't see any. Oh, wait, there's some. Oh, no, they have, they have several turrets. Ooh, okay, that's that's not the best thing in the world. Uh, it's time for us to maybe 
have a chat with them about handing their accommodation over. I would really like if they would hand us over some accommodation. That would be really nice. So first thing you want to do, we're going to create a zone for our animals, of course, because that's the first thing you always do. And we're going to stick all our animals in there. There is steel right there. That is perfect. We're going to want some of that steel. It would be very useful to have because we don't have access to any stone. Anyway, uh, yes, we are going to create ourselves a little defensive emplacement here very quick, quickly, and then we're going to use that defensive emplacement to hopefully slaughter the, the pirates. And we're also going to need some wood for that as well. We're going to need to get ourselves up some temporary accommodation. Uh, oh, yeah, and then all we do is we set them to work. Wait, where are you going? No, 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 no. We are going to set you some zones. Sorry, I made a mistake. I made a zone area for these fellas, and I never restricted them to it. That's area one. That's area two. That's the areas you're allowed in, so... How's that? Better? Yes, yeah, much better. Uh, we're going to create ourselves a little hut as well. You see, after this fight is over, my people are not going to be in the best of shape. So we want to make a little area for them to... Well, to get some healing in. We are going to get all the bedrolls... Oh, cancel that. We're going to get all the bedrolls and we're going to stick them in there. To do that, though, we have to find out which pack animal they're on. It's a little bit boring, but we go through and find them all and we drop them on the ground. This way we can dump them all where we need them. Before I got time to finish this all up, it turns out the tribes people are attacking. That is unfortunate. It would have been nice if I had a chance to get everything set up, but... Oh well, what can you do? The uh, simplest thing to do then would be pull back to here. We've got at least some cover we can set up. We can cancel some of these. Uh, cancel you, cancel you. We can deconstruct you. Yeah, this might work. One, two, three, deconstruct you as well. And cancel you. Bring all our pawns right back into this area. We should hopefully be able to set up a, at least a minor kill boxy type area. Uh, let's go into the gear. Who's got the... I gave one of them the... Wait a second. I'm going to have to get you out of there and set you to prioritize deconstruct. You get out of there. This is what I managed to achieve in the short time I had available to me. I was hoping to have a little bit more time to get this ready. We've got a uh, walls here set up and my pawns can shoot around them. So hopefully we should be able to get a nice little firing line where we can cut them down or drive them back at least. The wood's not going to last very long, but it should hopefully last long enough for us to do some damage to them. That is some good destruction right there. Yeah, they're pulling back. Now, if we get uh, our pawn here and we go into their gear, they have an orbital bombardment targeter. So let's equip that orbital bombardment targeter. And then let's get them to fire that at... Ooh, let's see, where is a good point? Why will it not let me... Oh, we can't see it. Well, we'll have to go up to about here. Go here. And then we'll have to go... Ooh. I th think that should be just about right. How many of them will we get? Oh, Tony's in there, our prisoner. Oh well, sorry Tony. I, I think I got him. Yep, yeah, I think I did. Uh, base destroyed. Uh, so their base is completely busted. That is great. Uh, how many injuries do we have on our side? Ooh, several people have gotten a little bit of a few scratches going on. This can be sorted out. Unfortunately, we don't have a room to put them in just yet. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is finish this off so we can get some people some... Yeah, some care. Uh, yes, this should do. One second while we get this sorted. I'm afraid Tony's not going to make it. It would have been nice to add him to uh, our group, but unfortunately Tony's not really going to survive the upcoming... Uh, yeah, I, I don't have anywhere to put him just yet. Um, ooh, that sniper rifle got heavily damaged. That one's not so bad. We'll, we'll worry about those later. Oh, there's some food. We'll take that. Hmm. All I'm doing now is just finishing up this area here. Can it work on table forbidden? Why is no one bringing over the uh, bedskin rolls or anything like that? Well, anyway, base is destroyed. That place should now get roofed in. You. Can you do it? Pick up bird skin roll? No, I want you to actually install them. Can it work on double bedroll blueprint forbidden? Hmm. Well, the first thing we're going to do anyway is we're going to go to the world map and... Oh, actually, before we go to the world map, I want to claim as much of this base as I possibly can. 
you can go in here, go to orders, and we are going to claim the lot of it. There we go. Now, I don't think that will allow us to claim the turrets. The turrets, so long as they still have power, yeah, they're not ours. So they will shoot at us if we go near them. We'll have to find some way around them to get in, uh, probably disconnect them from the solar power. Uh, is there a battery? If they don't have a battery, they should be automatically off at night. Mm. You know what? I should send someone in right now to take care of that problem. Who's got good health? Diggity, you seem in the best form. Before any of that, though, I did bring some wake-up and some psychite tea with me. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure everyone gets their needs met. And by their needs, I mean their rest. So everyone's going to grab themselves some wake-up, I think. Uh, one of them can't because they do actually have uh, a distaste for it. Who is it? Is it MacGyver? Nope. Ah, yes. Diggity. Diggity can't use drugs because they actually are a teetotaler. Everyone else is going to go grab themselves some, uh, some wake-up. Once they've got themselves some wake-up, they should be get back to work and finish cleaning that place up. Uh, oh, and we want to go into the world map and we would like to settle. This is now our settlement. Well, this area is. Let's see if they'll now get around to installing those beds and stuff. Why not? Can it work on double bedroll blueprint forbidden? What am I doing wrong? In the meantime, while they're doing that, Diggity is going to go in here. And they're going to have a look around and see what's going on. No, that's a storage room. Don't care. Stay away from the turret. We just want to find out where the battery is. There's got to be the batteries around here somewhere that's feeding the turrets. Otherwise, they would be offline right now. And I'd prefer to get the batteries disconnected before morning. Okay, that's bedroom. Please be battery. Oh, come on. How many batteries is there? Okay. Um, you're going to claim them all. Unfortunately, claiming them all doesn't deny power to the network. I have to deconstruct a lot of them. Uh, so, we will claim a lot of the batteries. Hope there's no batteries anywhere else. And we are going to unselect you and tell you to... Outside allowed area too. I want them to have to expand their allowed area. Now we're just going to prioritize uninstalling all the batteries. And if you hold down shift, they should do them one after the other. So they should in uninstall one battery, move on to the next, then the next, and the next, and the next. And assuming there's no more batteries hidden through at this base, we should have... Oh, where are you going? No, but why would you wander that way? Oh, power's gone to you, is it? We will claim you for our own... Oh, when we disconnected this, it disconnected the wires. So does that mean all of them are done? No, that one's still on. Where's the rest? That one can be claimed as well. Perfect. Uh, this makes it much easier. I'm going to finish out the rest of the batteries just for now. We'll hook those back up later, but uh, that should allow us to claim all of them. Once the last of these batteries go, this one should also be claimable. How? How are you still on? Okay, there we go. That allows us to get all the turrets. And now we can claim this entire base as our own. When you destroy a base, it improves your relationships with just about everyone else. Well, when you destroy a pirate base, it improves your relationships with just about everyone else. Because, well, they're pirates, no one likes them. So we've managed to claim some beds here, so hopefully we can get people to start, you know, going to sleep. Because these things won't, uh, they won't deploy for some reason. So we'll just cancel all of that, unfortunately. Uh, I assume we're going to be able to move those in. Oh, and we might want to get that into uh, some storage room somewhere. Or all the weapons and everything that's lying around as well. We'll maybe designate this place as a storage for weapons because there's already some in there. Uh, hold on for a minute while I try and figure out where I'm going to place everyone. Oh, I figured out why I couldn't move some of the things. I needed to give them unrestricted access. So I had to go back into here and set everyone to unrestricted. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a... It's going to take me a while to sort out the mess that's going on here. But soon all the pawns should be able to pop into bed and maybe grab a nap. They're going to be sleeping in a barracks, which is not going to be great, but tomorrow, tomorrow we can set everyone up and we can start collecting all the junk we've left lying around the map and maybe reorganizing the defenses so we've got a nice defensible base. Now, this strategy of coming in here and attacking this place was a ridiculous idea. <laughs> Shouldn't really be done. I did it really badly and sloppily as well, but uh, eh, it worked out. And what this allows us to do is skip a whole bunch of annoying junk, as in, well, we wanted stone, but... We would have had to research a bunch of stuff. You know what? Let's not do that. Instead, let's just steal someone else's base and use their stone. Now, we're going to make sure that MacGyver and Stark are assigned to that bed because that will help improve their mood if the both of them get to stay in the same bedroom. And then we're going to move all of this junk into storage the moment the next cycle starts after everyone has had a chance to have a bit of a nap. 
Uh, also, they've now got their own tables to, that they can eat at, and I think we're going to remove the allow section, so everyone is allowed to see forbid, unforbid all items. Or, wait. Unforbid all items. Yes. There we go. Anyway, th tomorrow morning, we'll uh, set up a storage shed and get uh, all of our resources that are scattered out here and over here set up, and I'm going to allow the uh, animals access to everywhere outside of here. After a little bit of uh, rushing, I've managed to assign some... Oh, someone's already in the days. I've managed to assign out a few beds to everyone, so they've now got their own private bedroom set up. Uh, I've hooked up the batteries again, so we can now get some power going around to get the lights on. And I've turned the central area into a storage area and walled it in, so that this now whole place can be a walled-in centralized storage, so that I don't have to worry about things getting, you know, busted. Uh, at the same time, I've, I haven't installed any of the bedrolls, the reason being I actually have real beds. Uh, in fact, I might have some decent beds here if I look around a little bit better. Good. Ooh, I got a good bed. Uh, some poor ones. Oh, there's an excellent bed. Yeah, we'll be taking those excellent beds and giving them to our pawns when the time comes. But now we have this area here, which should be roofed in. And what is it? Room. Rec room. Mediocre. Extremely spacious. Ugly and dirty. We can floor it later. But for the time being, yeah, we've got ourselves a nice base. We had to fight for it, but we've got it. Uh, oh, and we might want to start getting rid of these bodies. These are going to start becoming a problem. How's MacGyver doing? Is he... Oh, wait, no, he's, uh... Yeah, he's lost his mind. He's wandering around the place. A bit like Anita was a few minutes ago. Uh, I think it's time we got these people onto some, uh... Something a little bit stronger. Where's Stark? Stark is still sane, right? Uh, why don't you drink some of that tea? That tea would definitely help you out. Um, who else needs them? You know what? Stark needs the tea, Dog's Body, and MacGyver. We can catch up with them later. But for the time being, we have a new base. Uh, it'll just be a kind of a case right now of getting everything tidied up and controlled, and then we'll move on from there. This is something you're going to see pretty frequently. Well, for a while, anyway. Refugees chased. Uh, there's a, a ch refugee who wants, you know, asylum, and if you offer them safety, they'll a bunch of people will come in trying to kill them, and you'll have to defend. Uh, I don't want to do that at the moment. I still haven't quite recovered from taking this place over, so we're just going to ignore this message and, yeah, whatever. They have a bad day. For me, it's more a, a case of getting this all set up. Uh, I'm going to run out of food shortly, so I need to start hunting wildlife and get a kitchen set up. We have plenty of stuff we can be hunting, and we have plenty of people who are well-armed and well-equipped to do so. So I think a little bit of modification, maybe, you know what? I think we might make this a kitchen slash butchery area, and we'll just uh, reinstall everything else over here. We got plenty of chairs. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. There we go. We're almost ready to do some cooking, though I now have to queue up all those builds we did before. Just, ugh, horribly. Yeah, one moment. Perfect, there we go. Now, we've got a Ibex Doe Revenge going on. Uh, MacGyver, why did you get involved in this hunting? Uh, you sh it should have been someone else. You are time for you to get out of here. And where is Rambo? Rambo is the one who's supposed to be doing this sort of stuff. Come on, Rambo. Over here and let's uh, have a word with these critters. Ah, buggery. Yeah, and this is what I get for being lazy. Run, MacGyver. Run! <laughs> well, yes, okay. So even the critters in here can cause me huge problems when I haven't... Even with all the assault rifles and all the stuff you have, they can still cause you issues. Anyway, uh, MacGyver, we should not be a problem. Let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to go to bed. We'll take care of you. Crafting-wise... Yeah, it's fine. We don't care. You, you're only for crafting. You'll be grand if we lose you for a while. Wow, okay. That was created really quickly. Um, oh, and we want to make a door over here. The reason we want a door over there is this is going to be our storage area for food, and we are going to reinstall that at right there, I think. And we'll move the chair as well while we're at it. We'll grab one of these. There's too many chairs all over the place. Reinstall that. That spot. This is not perfect. We have to sort of make do with what we've got. It's just the way this... Uh, well, it's just the way the map has played out from what I've been able to find. Also, we really want to get some more wood in here. We're going to run out of wood if we don't. Yeah. Boom. And I think we've got an almost functional base. I've even set up some turrets around the outside. So, uh, where is it? Yeah, we've got some overlapping turrets to help with defense. 
we should be reasonably safe. This should be a good place to hunker down and uh, live out the winter. For doing up the meals, we're just going to grab a simple meal. Uh, do until you have X. Crank that up to 15. Wait, no. Uh, going to details, it's easier this way. We'll grab that up to, say, 25. And we'll don't start again until you're down as far as 15. Boom. Uh, four requirements for this. You're only going to use meat. You are not going to use any vegetables. Uh, animal products, yeah, you can use all the animal products. We don't care about any of that. Oh, and meat-wise, yeah, it's all alpaca meat and stuff like this. It's just there's uh, the possibility of using meat you shouldn't in here if you're not careful. Uh, by that I mean, uh, you know, human stuff, which would be bad. Anyway, that's that all done. That should get us those. Uh, we're going to want to get into some making some pemmican later. Most of my pemmican was uh, consumed along with the trip. Uh, we're going to want to make a localized storage right here by the door I'm about to install so that the, the cook can go in and out and grab the meat they need really quickly. Our little colony has stabilized quite well. Um, this giant storage room is probably a complete mess, but I don't care. However, there's one thing we haven't got running yet, and that is uh, research. We need to get that up and running, so let's get a research table going. Simple research bench, that should be fine. Uh, we'll throw that down in here somewhere. Uh, you want to stick it up. There, there's fine. It doesn't really matter where you place it so long as it's in the room. Uh, we've only got four chairs in there. I might... I don't have any more chairs, do I? Am I going to have to start using stools again? Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah, I don't even have the technology to make uh, dining room chairs. I have to use the stools. Luckily, I've got plenty of them lying about the place. Uh, I'm going to have to go on a sales spree and get rid of all of this junk because it is going to cause me problems having all of this materials in here. There's just too much of it. It needs to go. Uh, I might want to do a sales run. At the time being, though, I have several of my pawns equipped with sniper rifles so they can get some hunting done. Which reminds me, Diggity, where are you? I should equip you with a better weapon, I think. Oh, you're you're playing at that. Once the time comes, though, you can equip a machine pistol. That sounds about right. If you hold down shift and left click, once he's finished doing his uh, his fun stuff, you'll go around and take care of that. Anyway, we'll get uh, the that installed and then we can start doing some research. For research wise, I think the first thing we're going to do is just get some basics. We might want to just get electricity. That would allow us to, oh, well, it would allow us to maintain the electrical grid we have. Currently, if anything happens to the electrical grid we have, we can't replace it or fix it. If we're, we have lights, we have solar panels, we have batteries, we have turrets that we can turn on when the time comes. But if any of these power cables go, yep, there's nothing I can do. Let's see, where is it? Uh, install it. Where does the last battery go? Oh, I think we moved it somewhere else. But if we were to say uninstall this or reinstall at, you can see where, like you can see those power cables. That's the only way I can see them because they're not technically mine. I never placed them. Oops. <laughs> anyway, uh, research, yeah, we'll get started on that and uh, we'll get Anita into it. Anita, the whole reason we hired her was because her bio is really great on intellectual. Randia has seen fit to give us a drop pod and in that we have... K. K. Gemoto? Uh, whatever. Male space refugee, vengeful child sh sheriff. But they have my two favorite stats, shooting and melee, which means they're going to be good at fighting, which is pretty much all I really care about. They can't do any caring, which I don't care about. They're tough, industrious. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be great at anything but fighting, but I kind of like, I like ones like that. Uh, let's uh, rescue them. Uh, Stark can get around to that later. What's the health on that one? Three hours, it'll bleed out. It's fine. Since everyone has sniper rifles, the hunting is so much easier, they can shoot at them from extreme range. So, for example, Rambo here is going to come out and they're going to take some pot shots at that critter as well. It's also helping improve everyone's shooting skills. This is going out quite well. What are you on? Yeah, you'll get up to level 12 eventually. It would still be faster to level them up if I give them, say, uh, the machine pistols. The machine pistols fire more rapidly so they'd gain more experience, I believe. Though I haven't tested this myself. I have been advised that this is how the they can increase their weapon speed faster. But... Yeah, we'll come back to that at a later date. For now, I'm just glad we've got enough critters coming in, enough meat coming in, and we should be able to, uh, ooh, and we should be able to maintain this colony quite nicely. Incapacitated refugee. You know, I might go send someone to rescue them, depending on how far away they are. Hmm. What's this? We've got prisoner camp. Incapacitated refugee. Ooh, you know what? What was this one again? Yeah, I don't fancy dealing with five enemies with a small convoy. I might send one convoy, out, one person in a convoy out to go get that Viking Raider. Well, to maybe have a look and see if they're worthwhile. It's on the road, so it should be a short journey. Though I will have to get myself my hands on some pemmican. Oh, another thing. Uh, when it comes to traveling along on the road, 
Uh, one second, let's go to... Oh, they're not a prisoner. They're just a guest. Um, when it comes to travelling along and uh, on the world map and foraging, the foraging, the amount of forage you get is based on the skills of your plants. So if you, the planting skill determines how much forage each person will get. So the higher someone's planting skills, the better. And that just looks ridiculous that someone is carrying that critter around like that. It looks like it's staring up at the world. Oh, anyway, let's uh, skip this forward a bit. Our research has already started. It's going to take a while. We do have that massive debuff to, or that minus the 200% cost multiplier. So it's going to take us a long time to get that research out. We'll, it'll probably be the end of winter before that's done. I do have several more mechanics I would love to cover, but I, we've, we're coming up on the 30-minute mark, and I want to cut these episodes back to 30 minutes now that we're through the bulk of the mechanics. Well, not all of them, to be honest. But uh, this, this, getting this base or taking over or capturing a pirate base was effectively the entire point uh, and style of the playthrough I was going for. I, I practiced it with several different varieties, like using the standard start, using the tribal start, all that. And capturing a, a normal tribal base is actually not too bad. That's pretty handy to do. But capturing a pirate base, it's a little bit trickier, but it's far more productive. You can usually get your hands on a couple of solar panels, not just one. Uh, sometimes the batteries are a bit tricky. You might only get one battery, but that's fine. And you might have to kill uh, one turret to get your hands on the battery. It's it's painful, but you're better off killing the turret than you are uh, losing the batteries. If you've no batteries, this is a bit of a problem. You can also get a, a zist event, a zit. Zit, Z, 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 yep, yep. the thing where you get the electric short. This can cause problems because currently we have no way of repairing anything or doing anything like that. But right now, we are our tribal base on our, at the end of our first year, we have nothing researched. We're starting on electricity, but we should have that finished just about the end of winter, maybe a little bit after. But we have solar power, we have four batteries, we have four gun turrets, three of which are employed but not actually enabled. We have lights, uh, we have wooden beds, we, like we have complex furniture. We're well sorted. Uh, we've also got our hands on quite a few extra weapons. There's pump shotguns, some submachine guns. We've got some extra sniper rifles. Uh, there's an extra flak vest of normal quality. We even got some beer. There was some beer uh, fermenting barrels in here. Actually, I'll uninstall those now. Yeah, poor Diggity was having a nap when it came time to harvest those. They were not happy. Not happy at all. But this has given us a huge boost. Oh, and uh, that pawn I found with really great skills. Yeah, they, they passed away. Uh, yeah, I didn't take care of them. This is just a theme with me. I think of the... I think I've tried to hire three extra people on top of Anita, and most of them have, have not met a good end. Uh, but in all fairness, one of them like walked into the middle of an orbital bombardment strike. What was I supposed to do? You know, that was his fault. That was his bad. He should not have been wandering around out there. Uh, for doing this, though, you might be thinking that you need an orbital bombardment targeter. You definitely do not. This was just a, a very, very lucky find on my part. Normally, though, I would try and pick up a Doomsday rocket launcher. A Doomsday rocket launcher is usually much easier to find, especially if you've visited two or three towns. There's a good chance you will find a Doomsday rocket launcher along the way. And those things are not that expensive, and they have a blast radius about this big, and they can really help you out in one of these areas. Uh, I think I built a bit too close to the base, which is what it was triggered this attack. You would be better off, say, maybe going back here. And you put something like this down, and then you set up little storage areas. What you'll do is you'll grab a storage stockpile zone, and you'll make one here, 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 and here. And you will set them to store something like, say, oh, sandstone chunks. And that will give you extra cover, and it makes it harder for your pawns to get shot at. And then you try and get them across open ground, and you mow them down. Usually it's quite effective. Also, if you've got a pawn behind each one of these pillars, when uh, someone comes up to attack, your, both your pawns that are behind them can melee the same pawn, or at least one of them can shoot and one of them can melee. It's usually quite handy. Combine that with uh, a Doomsday rocket launcher, and I've never had any problems with securing a base. However, this here is very important. Getting yourself a little storage area where you can put in some mats and get immediate medical attention at the very end of the fight is very handy. And also, as well as that, you're going to want to immediately dose them probably up with Psychi T, uh, maybe Smoke Leaf, uh, and probably Wake Up to make sure they can stay going for the whole uh, job. Where I messed up was when it came to the zones, uh, where's zone one and zone two? Yeah, I didn't expand zone two to include this area. So when I was trying to move the bedrolls in, my pawns could not get into that area. They were restricted to this area so they wouldn't go near here, but they were also restricted from getting to the area that contained all my bedrolls, which was a big mistake. Uh, first time I made that one, normally I was, uh, I didn't build this far forward. I think it was just the way the maps rolled out. Anyway, no, getting distracted. We have a well set up base, we're going to have our electricity soon, and we're probably going to stay here until the end of, well, definitely till the end of winter, probably till near the end of summer. Though, now we're going to start planting crops. We have plenty of land, we have plenty of, we, we have a nice, really safe, solid base, and a place to really do, we, we can go out on missions now and not worry about leaving only a few pawns behind, because we do have some defences that they can fall back on it because of these turrets. We're in a much better position than we would be if we tried to just build up manually. 
This is probably my favourite way to start because as well as that, you have to adapt to this new base that you've been given. This, uh, you'll always get them slightly different. So this one has just worked out quite nicely. I quite enjoy it. We've got this giant storage area in the middle, which I, yes, I should sort it out. Um, also, I, yeah, I put a statue in the middle because why not? <laughs> okay, getting distracted. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, assault on a pirate base and uh, good luck.